Hey, how's it going? It's Dan from Synapse Brain Training. So the brain tip of the day is going to be removing toxins. Which toxins to remove? Well, we're about to find out. So our life, I think everyone knows that we take in a certain amount of you know toxins and, and the body is um, capable of dealing with a lot of these toxins um, up to an extremely high rate. Uh, so, you know, at some point they do cause some sort of damage, but uh, the body is so highly adaptable that it can, you know, manage pretty much um, almost anything. So, uh, yes, most people are walking around with more toxins than they really think they are, and uh, they don't understand where there's where they're coming from or, or what they are, uh, but they, they definitely are there. And uh, we can just touch on some of the easy ones that might resonate with you that you understand. Um, you know, uh, you know, maybe alcohol, cigarettes, um, uh, you know, any types of uh, prescription drugs uh, along those lines are, are going to be have toxins, you know, they'll have, you know, some sort of toxic effect. And uh, so if you cut those out, that would be, you know, ideal. Uh, replace them with something else that's healthier. I think we all kind of know that. And if you're someone that does that, uh, you know, you probably don't care too much. Um, and, and aren't going to make that move, but if you do, uh, you know, it's going to have, you know, a lot of benefits in the long term. So those create toxins, we know that, and then we can jump over to something else, you know, pretty much anything that we're putting in our body and around, around us uh, is going to create, that could have toxins. So let's just look at our food. Um, I think people see a lot of uh, controversy these days over types of meats and, you know, going vegan or vegetarian or whatever. Uh, personally, that's not my style, but, um, you know, going, going, <laughs> having a clean, you know, vegetarian or maybe vegan meal, maybe that, you know, it could work for you if it's healthier. Uh, the problem that I have with some animal products is the lower, the lower quality animal products, like some of the processed meats and stuff, it's just really not good for you. It contains a lot of products and the lower quality meats as well. Um, they'll contain a lot of, uh, antibiotics and, um, uh, estrogen in general, a lot of these, uh, a lot of the, those types of meats will carry estrogen, and that's like a huge, huge issue that I see. And although estrogen isn't a toxin, uh, you know, it creates, um, you know, s creates negative effects as well. So yeah, I would stay away from low quality meats uh, if you, you know, don't have a choice. Uh, maybe you know, don't eat meat. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, but uh, yeah. So those, um, you know, what you're putting in your system is really going to affect you if you're putting in, you know processed foods, processed meat, dairy, you know, high fructose corn syrup, uh, you know, check if, if your stuff has that. Uh, it's, it's really just going to create this mental brain fog that's not going to allow you to reach your uh, potential. So removing a lot of those <laughs> those things is going to uh, greatly, greatly benefit you. Um, and then, you know, uh, another thing that we can kind of uh, look at is, you know, the different types of, uh, you know, water supply or, or what's in your water. Uh, you may not know <laughs> exactly what's in your your water or water supply, so that's that's another aspect of uh, what your what your body is entering. Uh, you know, just think about the shower that you go into. You're putting water. Your body is absorbing water into it. You know, when you drink water, uh, so if there's you know some sort of toxins apply there, um, and there's some sort of chemicals, uh, you know, you will be getting those uh, directly <laughs> into you in uh, large quantities. So we have kind of the three main bases bases that I've kind of touched on. Um, you know, obviously there's different types of toxicity. There's, you know, just like <laughs> mental toxicity, you know, negative people that you have in your life and, uh, you know, cutting those out, you'll see, you know, great, uh, great improvements in yourself. A lot of people just will really hang on to, you know, negative people for a while when they should have cut them out, you know, years ago or something. And they just don't have those personal boundaries or those standards to, to kind of do that. Uh, most people's personal boundaries and standards that I see are very and they don't even, they don't even have them, and that's, you know, why they're in the situation that they are. So, um, I guess uh, my thing is, you know, eat as many, you know, as much uh, food that's as natural as it can be from its um, original, uh, original uh, place that it was kind of taken from without being processed too many steps by man, uh, if that kind of makes sense to you. So, and then also eating a lot of vegetables, a lot of green leafy vegetables, uh, you know, it's going to be really healthy for you, it's healthy for your brain, uh, your brain needs a lot of the, those different um, types of nutrients to, um, you know, thrive. So, like I said, there's, there's many types of toxins, obviously, if you're on the spectrum where you're drinking or, or smoking, you know, cutting those out could have, you know, extremely good benefits, and, uh, 
and you gotta have to fine tune what you're doing and, and what you're taking in to, to really understand that. I mean, along the lines, there's other you know types of toxicity, whether it's the you know the music you're listening to, the shows you're watching, different things that are just causing this type of mental toxicity. But uh, kind of we're focusing on more of the physical aspect when we, we talk about toxicity. So that there is a difference, and um, you know one is uh, actually kind of material to get out. So. Um, one cool thing to do if you do want to, you know, uh, detox, and I'll, you know, talk about briefly here, is called a juicing cleanse. Uh, check it out; it's pretty effective. Um, you know, I don't <laughs> have any steps, but uh, it's very fairly simple. It's you know, taking different types of vegetables, grinding them up in a juicer, and just drinking the, that juice for you know three days or something like that straight. So it's just juice and water for three days. Uh, some people go as far as sixty days or something like that. I wouldn't really suggest that for everybody. That's uh, you know something that I would say is a little more extreme. But uh, three days of, of being on juice and water, or maybe one day, and obviously you consult your you know healthcare practitioner. Uh, don't just uh, take my word for it um, when doing anything like that. But that can really just dump a lot of toxins out when you're just taking pure uh, pure juice, pure green juice and just uh, you know purified water it can really just dump a lot of the toxins out and it can just give your system a break to where it can um, you know function higher so the the more toxins you have the, the harder it's going to be to learn things the harder it's going to be for your memory to uh, develop and and different aspects and you'll you'll find if you you know do one of these juice cleanses how how much to how many toxins you really had because you don't really have a base to understand how what the toxins are doing unless you remove them and then kind of can see how much they build up and see how many more toxins are you know <laughs> are in your brain or how they're affecting you um, in different ways so uh, yeah that's it for uh, toxins and uh, thanks and till next time